My partner who cheated on me is making me feel like the balls in my court and is spinning this narrative that I'm giving up on us. But I think by cheating I don't have a choice. I'm honestly too heartbroken shocked to do anything right now. Found out three days ago and haven't been able to eat or sleep. After years of abusive relationships, I fell in love with my best friend, a nice guy. We live together, has an engagement ring for me. When my friends would say things like all guys cheat I would be like no I found the one good one. And I trusted him so much. Which is why I think I'm in total shock. To keep it semi short turns out he's had a full on relationship with another girl. In September, he told me he was going to North Carolina to spend 5 days with his friends. Turns out he was staying with her. Had unprotected s time and their texts are so romantic. He didn't tell me, but I talked to her on the phone a couple days ago. Obviously, I am crushed beyond words and just don't understand how someone could hurt a person they say they love. I never expected this and he's giving me every excuse in the book. And how his mental health is just so bad. He's framing it like I'm walking out on him because I don't want to try. But how could I? Should I try? Am I being unfair? Also, how the hell does a person begin to heal from something like this? Since finding out I've been throwing up and ass eating non-stop cause my body is just freaking out. Redditor's reaction story 2 after this segment. Redditor 1, he's trying to manipulate you into feeling guilty about making the better choice for yourself. Please don't give in to these tactics and do what you feel is the best for your well-being. Redditor follow up, as a guy with mental health issues. I would never use that as an excuse for my actions and I've never cheated. If anything, when I've been hit on I've been super atrony and longing for my GF instead and talked more to them, looking forward to seeing my SO again. The interest of being with someone else is just not there. And if something would happen in terms of cheating it'd be in the moment lack of impulse control in general and usually just who they are with or without issues. For me it's the complete opposite emotionally dependent which is another problem. Only open and clear communication can make a relationship work with complex issues, if not it's better to end it. Especially if they break your trust. This seems planned. And emo if impulse control or judgment is elking without talking to your SO about it that's an even bigger issue cuss then it can happen again. But this was planned and plenty of time to come clean not going at all before being caught. A ton of guys don't cheat. It sucks this happened especially given the situation at hand and friends not believing good guys are out there but do exist, and there's plenty of them in your city. I'd suggest for Op to say he ruined it, not her. Why give us a chance when there's already more people involved? Duck that. Take time to heal and keep the search going. Don't let this make you think good guys ain't out there or that you deserve anything less. Because that's exactly what you do, and I believe you'll find it. Redditor 2, you are giving up? Odd, you weren't the one to have another relationship on the side. Or is there any sense he was monkey branching? In any case, don't let him guilt you when he is the one who broke things. That is typical cheater tactics. He failed fiancé basics. Do what you know you must. Redditor 3 No, he is gaslighting you 100% and he does not care just how much he hurt you. He is only trying cover his own ass here. I bet his mental health never felt better when he was having s time with her and got all the rush from those brain chemicals. They shoot themselves in the foot when they lie why they did it. Basically he's saying anytime he feels down, depressed or whatever he is likely to go and fall into bed with another woman in order to cope with it. Does he know just how ridiculous that sounds and how you would never feel safe with him again? You should walk away, Reddit or follow up, yes yes yes. It's all gaslight. Mine still has the ultimate right answer for everything, why did you stay? Oh, well, Ike, maybe because you preached and preached fake remorse and sorries, and won't do it again, and understand the damage you provoked. Well, seems I'm the guilty one, cause I stayed. He recognizes his guilt, but it's all mine in the end, because I believed in his lies. Don T know exactly if it's victim blaming or Darvo, Redditor 4, uh, their friends have issues. All guys certainly don't cheat. My ex also told me his mental health depression is so bad and he had to cheat on me lol. Newsflash. Maybe all the lying and trying to juggle two lives caused stress and contributed to bad mental health? No, of course not. It's totally normal for them to turn the tables and blame you. 
This is cheater speak for not being accountable and avoiding actually looking at themselves. A remorseful cheater who truly made a bad judgment call would have told you, owned it, and made a plan going forward as to how they were going to improve for themselves in the relationship. Your boyfriend isn't doing any of that, instead it's about how you're not doing enough, how you're not supporting him. He's got victim mentality. He also put your health at risk by having unprotected SX. Imagine he gave you a lifetime diagnoses like herpes, HPV, genital warts, or how about infertility due to chlamydia? He didn't just lie to you once over some bad drunk night. He planned a trip around her. He lied to you several times leading up to and after that trip. Those are calculated decisions he made over and over at your expense and with complete disrespect for you. If your friends think this is normal, they must have very low self-esteem and have never experienced good, genuine people. That's really sad and no reason for you to accept this kind of behavior from someone who is supposed to have your best interests in mind. He doesn't. Reddit or follow up, my ex said that his anxiety disorder caused him to cheat. I asked him whether he thought the lying, cheating, and living a double life might be causing him to have anxiety. I was accused of not being supportive enough, so of course that was why he cheats. I asked how he could justify his actions with my responses to his actions. Radio silence. Redditor 5. Just more gaslighting deal shit. My ex laid the same trip on me as I left. Walk away and leave them to the mess they made. Story 2. Caught fiancé cheating. He's remorseful I made up my mind to take him back. What new rules boundaries should I enforce in a relationship? Fiancé of 3 years dating for 2.5 years was caught by me talking and planning to set S-time dates with multiple women strangers, co-workers, egg models. I cut him off and made a decision to move on. Haven't talked to him for 2 weeks now the hardest thing I had to do in my entire life. He's been calling texting every day non-stop day and night sending gifts and flowers every other day along with apology letters and begging to reconcile. Made up my mind to forgive him but he doesn't know yet. I feel like I should set some new boundaries, rules, etc. We don't live together just yet because we both have high paying jobs in different states. However we're planning on moving in together in few months. Any advice is appreciated. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, Uck, Don't. Just don't complicate your life any further with this. Redditor 2, yeah no kids, I envy you. Just go. Redditor 3, you have no children and don't even live together. That's an enviable position. Run and never look back. You deserve so much more and you have the ability to have it all. If you settle now, you will have to answer to your future self when this castle of sand falls. Op answer, yeah that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to look back at my young self and be like I told you so. Redditor 4. Okay? Well, before the advice first let us give you the warnings. 1. Cheating is not accidental, so most cheaters cheat again. 2. Without real full disclosure any attempt at reconciliation is a waste of time because you will be perpetually waiting for the next piece of info that reopens the wound and that will put you back at square one again and again. 3. Actions speak louder than words, his behavior, the way covered up the cheating, the way he sought it out was premeditated, not a spur of the moment impulse, so you are dealing with a proactive cheater. You have been warned, four cheaters are manipulators and liars by nature, so expect him to do it again, only know with the knowledge you are willing to overlook his premeditated indiscretions so he will most likely fall in one of two categories, the cheater that learns and covers up his tracks better, or the cheater that becomes bolder because he knows he can lure you back. 5. Anything less than full responsibility for his cheating, him owning it rather than deflecting blame or coming up with excuses is 100% of the time a sign of an unrepentant cheater. 6. Know the difference between remorse and regret. Remorse is being sorry for how his actions affected you. Regret is being feeling bad about the consequences of being caught. 799 out of 100 reconciliation attempts fail most of them because the cheater cheats again. 8. Never believe their first dozen tellings of the story, cheaters minimize and lie as a default response to being caught. If he says once it was 10 times, if he says texting it was essing, if he says we just hung out they had sex, you get the idea. Okay now to the advice if you really are gonna try this. One timeline and details of all indiscretions, this is non-negotiable. 
2 plus 100% access anytime anywhere to every form of communication email phone phone app sig social media telegraph etc you get the point also non-negotiable 3 counseling for him individually if he doesn't deal with whatever in him gives him permission to cheat and drives him to it then any efforts to repair the relationship are pointless 4 couples counseling need i explain 5 disclosure of his indiscretion to friends and family Yes I know it seems cruel and all, but keeping it a secret gives him a ton of opportunities to avoid accountability and to reframe the story should reconciliation not work, but most importantly, it puts him in a prime place to manipulate those around you. Do not keep his secret, keeping his secret for him is essentially the infidelity version of Stockholm Syndrome. Six NC notices for all APS and disclosures to their significant others, for reason C5. 7. Postpone engagement and moving in together, otherwise you are proving to him that you are willing to rug sweep the whole thing to preserve your convenience or timeline or whatever the heck is motivating you, and that is prime manipulation material for him to use versus you. 8. This doesn't work if you show him you are willing to overlook even the tiniest red flags. 9. He has to earn back the trust by being proactive and showing you his commitment to heal the wound he caused in the relationship. Words count for nothing. Believe what his actions tell you, words are cheap, there are many other things you can do, however let me leave you with a parting thought. You need to know why you want him back, what motivates you to want someone who is willing to so proactively deceive you back in your life. Is it sunk cost? Is it a need to preserve the plan you had made for your life? Is it genuine love and hope that the relationship can be repaired? If you are just reconciling out of some sort of relationship inertia, to get back on track in some sort of way, you are ignoring reality, the relationship will never be what it was, the real question is what will this new relationship look like and is it what you want. I wish you the best, Redditor5, so what has he offered to do besides sending chocolates? Here's the minimum list, he tells his family and friends what he's done, he writes up everything he has done and not just the stuff you caught him with but all his physical affairs which he, of course, has done already, you have access to all phone data email accounts bank accounts etc. He goes to individual counseling. Failure to do anything, or if you get a whiff of lying or omissions in his written confession and you are gone. Now here's what you do, dump him. So why the decision to reunite with a cheater? Has he not failed the boyfriend test? I bet I know exactly why you want to continue with this person who disrespects you. How old are you? Op answer, ha. Huh. Funny thing is he didn't tell anyone about this. He did offer the minimum of this minimum though, he gave me access to his phone and account like messages, call log, etc. The saddest part is AP called me after he ended it with her turns out she's married with a kid. I'm 27. He's 30. She's 36. 